Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today maintenance just finished and we got a lot of news to cover so let's jump right into it. Uh, number one, still Castle Malficia is coming back and uh, you guys will be able to um, level up your level up, just basically get some more attack, whatever you want on your swords, large swords, whip and throwing weapons. So. Uh, for the special abilities that you'll be able to get as I'm making my way down here because it's really really long right here So the special uh, abilities you'll be able to get for your weapon on the swords and on the large swords You'll be able to get HP and attack 15% which is seal of life and power for your whips 30% on MP and for your throwing weapons HP and MP 15% which is not that bad so uh, let's say your brotherhood which is technically a really really good sword You'll be able to keep them up, get more attack on it, uh, Onion Sword, uh, Excalibur, even the Organics from uh, the Veritas of the Dark event that came way, way back in the days. Uh, it's a 74 Greatsword with Dark Element, so let's say you don't have a good Greatsword with Dark Element. Well, here's your chance to make it a little bit stronger. So, uh, yeah, still Castle Malfike is coming back and that's really good because we're going to be able to get those weapons a little bit stronger which is great and that starts now right after maintenance so today's Thursday you guys can do that right away with no problem then moving on to the new one to the next one sorry domain for two story event you'll get the extra stages so you guys will be able to farm those crisps a little bit easier uh, uh, whichever you want it's only 60 energy and uh, yeah guess what more free lapis which is always always super great so don't forget to do these ones right here then special seven star release uh, a pool of five star unit so you guys can see right here lunet lightning olive ramza seabreeze dark fina and delita you'll be able to summon them uh where's the date where's the date right here so friday tomorrow the 17th all the way up to tuesday the 21st of august uh which is really cool the way they did it because the step up is actually really really easy if you're lacking some of these units or you don't have one of these units well step one 3000 lapis for an 11 pool is actually really really good on step two you'll get 1.5 times the rate for a five star unit which is really good and you're gonna get a five percent moogul on step three you get two times the rate for a five star unit and uh, you get a 10 percent moogul to any units and on step four you get a guaranteed five star unit which is really really great uh, so if you guys are missing one of these units go for it or if you're missing one of those units to get their super tmr or just their regular uh you know seven star then go for it especially if you're you know you're scared of spending too much lapis just go for the first 3000 which is really 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 good then moving on to the second one on monday you'll be able to summon for orlando dark knight cecil gilgamesh Wilhelm, seabreeze Dar uh seabreeze dark fina just dark fina and mary uh, personally for me, I think I'm gonna do it on this one, maybe just the 3000, maybe to get a chance to get one of these units. If I get another Gilgamesh, well, I'll get his Super TMR. And uh, I'm missing Orlando to get a 7 star, I don't have Dark Knight Cecil, I don't have Willem, I don't have Mary, so this banner is actually gonna be really, really good for me uh, to pull on. If you're a free-to-play player, alright, don't go crazy, because, you know, IO's coming soon. Uh, if you're scared of spending too much Lapis on these banners, then don't do it. Keep your Lapis, keep your tickets, everything that you need. Just keep it for when CG IO comes out. Or yo, yo, well, when he comes out, because it's going to be a little bit better. And he's going to be a really, really good character that's going to be able to change a lot of things in this game. So uh, the step up is going to work the same way. So personally for me, I think I'm just going to dump 3000 Lapis because 11 units you know with a chance of getting a rainbow is not that bad and uh there's actually really really good units here that i could use to get their seven stars then that's for the summoning news let's go to notices because we got some good things to talk about uh three star espers unlock so you'll be able to fight tetrasilphid three star version and diablos three star version uh so yeah after the maintenance, just jump into it, do these things. Uh, I'm gonna try to see them, uh, I'm gonna try to play and uh, see exactly what you need to beat these guys. Hopefully they're not gonna be too hard and uh, if they are, well guess what? We're gonna have to skip on them just for now before I redo them after and I have more time to play this game. Then this is the really good news, introducing the 5 star select summon tickets. So today, after maintenance, you probably logged in and you saw that you got a little 
silver ticket upon getting 10 of those you'll be able to go into the summon area which is right here we're gonna go here loading good standard summon select unit so when you have 10 of those tickets you'll be able to click here and grab the unit that you want so any five star unit that's in the game you'll be able to choose it and uh, it's gonna come down as a rainbow and when you crack it the unit's gonna be in there the only thing you won't be able to get limited units so explorer eileen a2 2b uh the characters we just got from the um what's it called oh my god it just passed the event uh, Star Ocean, you won't be able to get these characters, so only characters in FFB will be there. So from Final Fantasy, you can grab Olive, you can grab Dark Fina, Willem, uh, you want Mary, go for it, you want Veritas of the Dark, go for it. So upon, upon getting 10 of those tickets, so in the next 21 days, you'll be collecting one ticket every, I think, 3 or 4th day, uh, and you'll be able to summon the unit that you want which is i think really really cool and the way it's going to work after uh, i think in every king mog event you'll be able to get two of those tickets so you're gonna have to buy two of those tickets so upon completing five king mog events you'll be able to summon the unit that you want so that's really good news this is really really cool because there's some units that uh, i want and i'm gonna have to think really really hard about getting the one i really want then the story continues so if you guys made it all the way to the end of uh, Season 2, Chapter 3, if you finish that one. Well, Chapter 4 is now live, and uh, you can continue the story. And let me tell you, I'm not going to go down, because there's a lot of things here. But uh, let me tell you that this story is amazing. It just went bazonk. I don't know if that's a word, but I just invented that word. Bazonk, and it's really, really good. Uh, so if you guys don't play the story, play the story because it's really, 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 really good. So, guys, that's it for the news. Let me know if you're excited for all these things. Tell me which unit will you get if uh, when you get those uh, 10 little tickets to make that one unit. Let me know down below which unit you really want for your 5-star to be able to summon for uh, whichever you want. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below if you like this video, leave a like, thumbs up, subscribe, do everything you want, and first and foremost, keep on FFBing. Guys, I'm out, have a nice day, peace!